Hello, my name is Anton O'Fadon. I'm going to show you how to do very long uh, multiplication. So, there's actually a number of, of ways, of methods of doing very long multiplication. This is just one of them. I'll show some other methods. I'll also show, recap the uh, Indian multiplication method, the Italian, the Italian or the lattice multiplication method and later on teach you how to do the Russian peasant method. So, so we take two numbers, 64, I'll put it over here, 64 times 35. Right, you can see that, this is my scribbling numbers. So in this method I would take 64 and I would expand 64, so 60, plus 4, set my zero, times 30 plus 5. And we put brackets. Oh, I'll make the brackets a bit better. So you can see this has to multiply against this. So we're going to focus on 60. So 60 times 30. 60 times 30 and then we're going to plus 60 times 5 60 times 5 now we're finished with the 60 we'll focus on the 4 so everything in this bracket bracket has to multiply against every number in this bracket. So 4 times 30, so 4 times 30. Then we have uh, 4 times 5. Brackets around there, you don't have to, but it just makes it a bit uh, easier. So, order of operation rules. Okay, so this equals 60 times 30. What I say to the children, say 6 times 3, the two principal numbers. 6 3 is 18. So zero there, zero there, that's two zero. So zero to zero plus six times five, that's thirty. There's a zero there. Plus four times three, that's twelve. There's a zero there. So, so far we have what, 1800, 300, 120. Plus four fives are twenty. So the next step, the new line, it's a bit like um, computer coding, just try and keep it, uh, give each new algorithm a separate row to, to work it out. So we have to expand this number, so that's one thousand. Plus 800, plus 300, plus 100, plus 20, plus 20. I'll try and squash it in there. You can see squashed in. So now we uh, we group like numbers. So your hundreds can be grouped together and your tens can be grouped together I can't fit the bracket in so the next line equals so a thousand then eight hundred and three hundred that's eleven hundred and an extra hundred that's twelve hundred or 1,200, some kids will tell you. 
plus 20 plus 20, that's 40. Then we expand this, 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 200 plus 40 equals, but um, so we group these two together, a thousand plus a thousand, that's two thousand, plus two hundred, and a little red caboose on the end, plus forty, equals 2,240. Let's see if it works out using the more traditional method. So 5 plus 20, put them in there the 2. 5, 6 is a 30 plus 2, that's 32. Put them in the little red. Smiley face. 3, 4 is 12, put down a 2 carry the 1. 3, 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Add those two numbers together. 0 plus 0, that's 0. 2 plus 2, that's 4. 3 plus 9 is 12, put down a 2. Carry the 1, and 1 minus 2. 2,240, 2,240. And let's try, if I, if you can still see it over here, the Indian method. So we go 64 times 35 equals, excuse me. 3 times 6 is 18, put 18 down, 3, 4 is 12, and then you go um, 5, 6 is a 30, and you add these two numbers together, so 30 plus 12 that's 42, and you write your 42 diagonally like that, and then 5 times 4 that's 20, and you, I'm getting a bit of a traffic jam here. <laughs> so 0 comes down, 2 and 2 is 4, 8 and 2 is 12, carry the 1, 1 and 1 is 2, 2,240. And let's try the Italian or the lattice method. So last time I did something like this, so I don't think I made it big enough. So we have 64 times 35. Divide the windows, the, the window panes. Remember, this is a window. Uh, this is a window pane. And we divide each window pane into from the top right hand corner down to the bottom left hand corner. Diagonally, we go 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 6 is 30. Then we have to add these numbers up. First, whatever's in this triangle here comes down, so that's a 0. 2 plus 2 plus 0, that's 4. These three triangles, they form a family. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 3 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1. 1 minus 2. So it's 2,000. I hope you can see that. <laughs> 2,240. 2,240. 2,240. 
Doesn't matter how you slice it and dice it, ladies and gentlemen, you'll still get the same answer. My name is Anton Ophelan. I hope you um, have a good day. Thank you. Goodbye.